Hey, Sagittarius. How you do? I know it's Sagittarius. Okay. It could be anybody. Who am I kidding? But Sagittarius for sure. Because this is Sagittarius channel all day. Because I'm a Sagittarius all day. Today. Tomorrow. Or the Upanusha's thingy or whatever they call it. They really said I really wasn't a Sagittarius no more. I kind of felt offended at first because like my whole life, my whole life. But then after reading some of the characteristics and things like that, I was like, okay, maybe I'm too. Maybe I'm Sagittarius and up notches, whatever. You hear me? All right. <laughs> you know me. You know I've not already sage, prayed, and shuffled. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You always a queen. I just want to tell you how much I love you. You always on your throne. I know you didn't been beat down. I know somebody done took advantage of you. I know somebody done had their way with you. But you were sure enough ready to get on back up. He was hard. Oh my gosh, I can feel it. I know. Hello. I know. I know. But we conquer all. Queen of Cups. Look at you looking beautiful sitting up there. Just all lovingly. Okay. Ready to just love somebody. <sighs> I know. I know. Ain't nothing like you. Ain't nothing like you. It ain't nothing like you. Now I'm going to part the deck in front of your face. Bottom of the deck. I didn't feel it. There we go. Bottom of the deck. Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck. Wheel of Fortune popped out here. Hmm. Queen of Swords and Wheel of Fortune. Ain't that something? Queen of Swords and Wheel of Fortune. Do you hear that? Queen of Swords and Wheel of Fortune. You hear that? I'm telling you. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so you a queen, no doubt. And I could tell that you done had to cut something out. Right? But the wheel would suggest that things come back around. And it's a karmic point where everything must turn for the better regardless of all the things that brought you to the cutthroat situation. <laughs> As a queen, you always sitting upon your throne here, letting everybody know you are an independent, fully functional, will take care of anything you have to <laughs> with a sword or a pistol. I know you ain't got to tell me, right? With the wheel of fortune, everything is turning and ain't no doubt that it's turning in your favor. I'm, I'm going to tell you how I know. Now, with the Wheel of Fortune, this is Jupiter ruling this card right here, okay? That Sagittarius, that's Pisces as well. I want you to know that, right? We're not going by no astrology here as far as zodiac signs. We're not doing that because you can get anybody out here. The Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, you can get anything out here. Pentacles, for instance. Come on now. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, you get the Sagittarius and the uh, 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 Pisces out here. So, we're not going by the Zodiac signs, okay? That's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm doing. I'm reading these cards, and they sound good to me all the time. It's always a story. It's always something exciting, always something wonderful that leads when I do this, right? Bottom of the deck, the chariot. It's a message on the way. Somebody so strong. Somebody so strong. Been through a lot. Been pulled from sad to sad. Yes, been 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 strong, strong along. I could just feel it with the cut with the swords here, saying that you had to cut out a lot of action. And when I say you, I'm saying me, right? Because I'm looking at me. I don't know about you, but I'm looking at me. Okay, so I'm a Sagittarius. That's what I'm saying. Sagittarius energy everywhere. <laughs> Period. Okay, so with the Queen of Swords. And the chariot at the bottom, all I see is, I say, this energy that had to be cut off wasn't something that was an easy cut off, no, by no doubt. It was a strong thing that had to happen 
here and with the wheel of fortune it's always with the wheel of fortune it's always like a a destiny type thing like this is a part of your destiny like okay it's always it's karmic but a cycle means that everything got to come back around full force no matter what you do like whatever you put out there come back to you right so with the wheel of fortune and we know jupiter ruling planet come on sag life okay with with jupiter wheel of fortune you got wheel you got fortune <laughs> i almost want to sit back ah uh, i don't drink i had wine cool here and there if I had a pina colada, I would drink because this Wheel of Fortune and then the Four of Pentacles popped out, okay? The Four of Pentacles, now we know you looking like, like he, look at him holding it. Look at him holding it, feeling real tight. You've been real tight being holding it with your money here. But you know, and it's, it's, it's almost a lack of something. This is what the hold on is for. But with the Wheel of Fortune, it's always saying that it's something coming out. It's something good coming out right here. And what we say in the chariot at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Give me a, uh, tell me something strong right here. What this got to do with this four of pentacles and things? Okay. Yes, I, I, I hear you loud and clearly, right? The two of, two of wands. You got the two of wands here. You know, that's Sagittarius. You know, that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is wands. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is Wands, Swords. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius out here again. That's air. Okay, listen. Because I love how it all comes together. And if you understand that everything, it all makes sense. When with the, um, <sighs> the air here, the earth right here, fire right here. You know, oh, it's so amazing. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like, it's powerful. That's what it is because, oh my God, it's powerful. And of course, nobody wants you to see this power or know this power or have this power or use this power. You got to know that this is strong right here. Okay, listen. Mm. What I want to say is, I want to stop. I'm going to shout out. And I'm I'm new, so nobody know me. <laughs> and I'm just a little back on the road. I'm a back of the road female, you know. You got to cut through this backyard, through that backyard over here, go around that corner, down that alley, around the corner, down there. If you go a little bit further, you might come to a stop sign. And if you make a left and then a right down at the next light, you're going to find me, right? So I'm telling you, I'm going to start shouting out to all the uh, people that I see that I've listened to personally on YouTube that do do these readings. Cause this is powerful stuff here if you ask me. Okay. I'm just gonna say that. Yes. So on the starting on the next channel when I'm doing shuffling, I'm gonna start uh saying some names of the people I love uh that do tarot card reading. They amazing. They amazing they are every single last one of them that I listen to. Some of them is something else, but uh whew, I love a lot of them who got their own style, who is real, who keep it real, who read for real. Okay, you know what? Get on out of here with that. But listen to me here now. With this Queen of Swords, now at the end of this whole thing, we done come to a page of swords. That mean the page, you a queen over here. This somebody else energy. It's a two of wands right here. So this page of swords mean definitely somebody else energy, okay? Like I said, again, you the queen of swords sitting on your throne, always ready to cut something off if you have to. With this wheel of fortune, you always end up on your feet. I don't care what it was. You done come around a thousand times and you done had your own karmic cycle as well. You done come around a thousand times. You hold on to everything you have. Look at that means right there. I heard that loud and clear. Clean out some stuff. It's some stuff you got to get rid of in your house, right? Because you hold on to everything a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Okay, right? With the two of wands here, that's two people. You can't tell me it ain't right here. 
one of them he holding on to, the other one he ain't holding on to. So that means somebody not getting treated fairly here. But it's some resolution here with the Page of Swords. That's always some communication. That's always some somebody who a, a page is always wanting to find some information out, always wanting to seek some truth and some honesty and want to find out. Really smart, intelligent, come up with some off the wall type things that work out just perfectly, right? Quick with it, ambitious, always looking for something new, right? Eight of Swords, just at the bottom. We're not even going to look at that. That wasn't even for us, right? I'm just nosy. Okay. Page of Swords here. But I seen, we seen it. We seen it. Re remember, we seen the Eight of Swords now. We seen it. I know I get caught up in this. I got to, uh, because I'm ready to do a whole spread. But I know I look at all them cards like, let me hurry up. <laughs> Because I don't look at a lot of ones like this. Like, y'all got some long ones out here now. Period. This is what I want to tell you. Period. This is what I want to tell you. The bottom of the deck is significant right now. Mm, mm, mm. I was finna say this. I was finna say this. I, I, I was finna say this when I seen these two knights out here. Knight of Swords and Knight of Cups. I was finna say whoever this page is, he ain't playing though. He coming and he on some cutthroat type stuff, but he got his love and his emotions with him and he ready to give it to you with this Ace of Cups, baby. You ready to give it to you. Valentine's Day, I love you, I love you, I love you too. Okay, let's get some follow-up. Let's get let's get some uh, a sign out here. Let's see what this sign is. Clarify on the sign right here because we want to see who this is because we got everything out here. We got everything out here. Who is it? Sagittarius. And a Pisces. Sagittarius, Pisces. Mm, and a couple of these is Pisces, I'm sure. Okay. Sagittarius and Pisces. Wow. And this look like the man in this look like the woman. I ain't gonna lie. It's a dragon right here, which symbolizes fire on the on the Pisces, though. No, no. It's more like a fish. Oh my god. It's more like a big fish. And I was just listening to Sag and Sun. I love her to death, right? And she was talking about these big fishes, and this fish looked real weird right here. She was talking about how it was crazy how the fish looked, but look how that fish look on them. It do look real, and she was saying it was big. Okay, I'm just saying, I was watching her. I like watching her, right? And it's a Pisces, oh, and water sign on the next card. You better know it's a Pisces, Kim and Biz. It's going to be some love and romance. Dream cards. Let's get a dream card because I'm all up in my dreams about this. Baby. I've been dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. That's all I could do. Now is the time to start doing what's good for you. Don't wait any longer. Time flies back faster than you think real life say that don't resonate with you come on now you will be telling me a story every time you use the word but you learn something about yourself the but will reveal your limiting belief it's like a key to unlock the door to your full potential come on because we got plenty of potential souls journey what the soul journey got to tell us balance oh man you know what this means because we got balance yesterday Blame. I respect. I re, I accept responsibility for my well-being. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Come on. What's about to resemble what we just said right there? Come on, hidden truth. Tell us something. I always think about the hidden truth like somebody telling you something, right? Like, so this page of swords with this quick communication, this knight of swords is coming with this quick communication, period. And this knight of cups, he's slow, but he coming. I know I messed up everything. I will wait for a sign from you. Oh, my goodness. My life is not as together as it seems. I need the baby. I knew exactly what I was doing. Mm. So somebody did something to you. That was about somebody who did something. That could have been some family type something, though. You feel me? 
this the romance angels so let's see what the romance angels gonna say let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others true love this is the romance of a lifetime pay attention to the red flags romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring okay what are we feeling what are we feeling come through angel oracles give us one of these what you trying to say angel okay conscious consumer you buying something you have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer, you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods. You live simply and you purchase only that which you need. That's an instruction for somebody to start doing something. Whew. Here you go, a good one. Sever vows of poverty, dear one. There's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. Come on now. Can you say that with me? I sever vows of poverty. Whew. Spirit angels. Spirit animals, spirit animals, who we resonate with. I seen one, I should have grabbed the one that was on the top because it kind of fell out like it wanted to say something. Grizzly bear, power. I, under, I am indestructible. I honor my intuition and go where it leads. Love and gentleness are my real strength. I never give up, I will succeed. Said you don't never give up with this will of fortune. You always getting on up now. Get on up. You always getting on up. I, I, I just seen the moon. I just seen the moon. I was trying to do romance, but romance was like, mm, not right now. <laughs> Look at the big drip. Come on. Come on. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius, period. Your dreams need a practical plan for a moon and Taurus. Dreams, we was just talking about. Start planning good stuff for yourself. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay. Okay. I could see how this past right here with this. Uh, what do you need to release? Mm. Something need releasing. Something need releasing. Let us let us think about what could possibly need releasing. This intuition oracles. Now, these are affirmations. Let's say them together. Let's say them together. The home body. I enjoy the secure base I have made for myself and my loved ones. Can you even see that? It's so pretty. These cards are so pretty. The loner. I enjoy being alone and getting in touch with my true feelings. You know what? This just saying we be lonely. You ain't even got to tell me no more. Okay? I get it. I know. I be lonely. You ain't got to tell me no more. But it's okay. Right? Because somebody coming. Something. But you ain't say what. It was just saying, you know, with this Ace of Cups, don't forget. Don't forget this Ace of Cups and with this Knight of Swords and this Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups, he coming. He coming. He done made a decision. He done got ready. This Two of Wands right here. This somebody. This something. This telling you somebody, okay? This telling you somebody is coming, period, with this Ace of Cups right here. The Spectrum. I root out and reject prejudice in myself and others right love it's only this one and love what okay now you already know kipper be doing the most what you gonna say kipper say something today i'm gonna let you speak today go on speak kipper say what you gonna say speak 
Say what you want to say. Concern, toil, and labor. Occupation. Okay. I was thinking when I was looking up here, like, did this have something to do with a job? But it didn't seem that way. Bad health, sudden wealth, and main female. Imprisonment. Mm. Okay. Well, let's put some love behind it. No, for real. Because what I'm saying, okay. Because I think everything resemble what was at the top, the first spread you start with, right? And at the top, we already know that it's a energy that is sitting on the throne, got it together. The wheel of fortune is coming back because it's a karmic situation going on. Somebody holding a lot of control with this four of pentacles. Want to be a hoarder. You're holding on to too much. You got to let something go. Felt that deeply. Two of wands. It's the accomplishments that have been made. It's a successful accomplishment, accomplishment with this two of wands. Of course, it could be with the page of swords next to it. It could be like a job or something that you put like a, a hobby or something. A, a, something you put out here, a page or something that's going on with the knight of swords. That's always saying that action is cutthroat but clever assertive type person energy right sexual union honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred and with the knight of swords it's a it's a energy that's a brave type person like a, it's a energy that is coming on this horse and they coming they coming like it's not a we move it slow type thing. It's just a quick energy. With, and it's full of passion. It's so much passion in this energy that the energy just really wants to come and release something. It's something so good. We get this um, Knight of Cups. Let me finish with that first. With the Knight of Cups, that's the in, that same energy. Or no, 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 no. Remember I said this two of wands right here that it was two people. Now I get the energy that one of them is on some quick moving type stuff and the other one is like, I'm going to get that. <laughs> the one that's like, I'm going to get that is the one that's like, I'm so in love. I just got to stop for a moment. I got to slow down. I got to take my time. But this one, like, psh, let's just do it. We did it before. I'm telling you, this is energy. We did it before. Why not? Let's just do it. This one, like, it's okay. We're going to get there. We're going to finally eventually get there. But with this Ace of Cups, it's the energy that's coming. Mm -hmm. I don't know. One or two. One or two. Look like you're going to have a nice little thought. You're going to have to think about it. But you've been holding on to that. You're going to have to think about it and cut it. Cut it. Pages to look. Cut it. Cut it. We you you it's some concern about this toil and labor, been working hard. This is about the job, right? So at at the place you working at, you've been working, you've been putting in your work, you've been putting in your work, and you've been concerned about this because it's not a good situation. It's kind of a bad place, really, actually, with the bad health here. I'm feeling like your job is in bad conditions. But it's something about to be so suddenly wealthy about the situation. Something so suddenly wealthy and it's going to have something to do with a female and she's not going to just be like the boss. She's going to be like the top person, right? And this imprisonment here uh, is like Sagittarius always got some beef, some grind, some, uh, but I'm feeling like it's a imprisonment like you've been held back too long with the Wheel of Fortune. It's still going to turn in your favor. Whatever it is, it's still going to turn in your favor. Only time will tell. <laughs> That's deep right there. That's what I have. That's deep. It's deep. I feel like something about time was up here too. We said series in Pisces. I could see it. I'm getting excited. Just seeing it. Baby, baby, baby. I'm getting excited. Trust. I could have swore I seen something. They said something to do with tan. Look at the bigger picture. Your dreams need a practical. 
crying, okay. Oh, maybe it was that true romance of a lifetime. Okay. All right, so let's, oh, 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 one more, one more, one more, one more, and then we're gonna clarify. Cupid's arrow wanted to pop out. That's what it says, Cupid's arrow. So put this ace of cups here. I'm just saying, I don't know, but I'm just saying. Oh, you want to go on a date night? Somebody going on a date? Call your girls up, girls up. Call your girls up, girls up. Somebody going on a date. I got to see what the time is. Somebody going on a date. Girls up, girls up. Talk to your homie. You about to go on a date. Cupid's air about to strike you on the head. You about to go on a date. Abundance. Sage, didn't I just tell you? Will of Fortune. Jupiter, we get sound pentacles. Period. Okay? Pentacles. Even no matter what this um reading up here say, and this is about somebody in your life. This is about a situation in your life that you've been dealing with with two people up here. And this is about your job. Ooh, period. This right here says with this four in the midst of all of this that's going on, you still get your pinnacles up, bundies, baby. Oh, Lord. I'll be excited because I'm a Sagittarius soon. I can feel this energy for my own life. Period. That's why we watching this channel. But you addicted to something. What are you addicted to? Because you need to like what addictions. Uh, let's think about it. Let's not be addicted to it. I need to think about some things. Okay, it's just cards. Just don't get excited. It's okay. So make connection. I'm excited. Didn't I just say don't get excited? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Keys on the right. And you get options. You get options. Oh, yes. Not a cup. Not a cup. You get, you get options. And guess what? Both of them knights. Both of them soldiers. Both of them fight. Both of them go hard. You <laughs> Sagittarius. It's a runner though. It's a runner. But it's okay. Cause they relationship evolving. And they might have had a fear of intimacy. But now they making healthy choices. Now they're making healthier choices. And they is they do get mad love. They got mad love. They got mad love. Let's give get a couple more. And they and you rebuild it in a car. Karmic cycle, and it might not be enough. And the clock is running out on that mofo, and y'all not talking. That's why I was upset. And it's like not today, but guess what happens? All that that you done been through, come swords, cut them off quickly, and you ain't playing no more. Come around, come around, cause you thought you was done with me, hoarding, cause now you think about what you done did. Love is at the bottom of the deck, and you about to get a message. Real quick, period. Period. Did not say that up in here. All right. I be getting excited. I don't know about you, but I be excited. Okay. Let's follow it up. Let's follow it up. Cupid's arrow. Cupid's arrow. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups at the bottom. Bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck. Oh, you got another person? Oh, you've been holding now. You've been holding now. You over here real big, real big, real fashionable, real fancy. Okay. Yes, real fancy. But it's strife because you a Sagittarius, like always. It's a five of swords out here. Look at them. Look at the Knight of Pentacles pop right out. How did he do that? And you the Empress. It don't even matter, y'all. Don't even trip. Because whatever. Oh, my God. And it's the world card right here. With the chariot. Didn't I say the chariot earlier? Y'all think it's a joke. Who think it's a joke? Five of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, the Empress, the World, the Chariot, the Lovers, the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> I don't even got nothing else to say. 
I don't got nothing else to say with this imprisonment right here, this situation right here, everything that you was going through up and through here with this toil and labor, sight and wealth, period. One, two, three, sacred union. You get severed poverty thoughts. Do up back because you about to get a lot of good money. That's why I say be consumer friendly because you about to get the sudden wealth. You about to get the sudden wealth, baby. This romantic feelings, the true love of your life, this true lovers is right here. Lovers, they right here. And the seven of pentacles is on the side of the lovers. That means the relationship has grown. It's the ten of wands. It's the Ten of Wands. Do you know that means you ready to carry that burden? Have a party now. It's time to celebrate. I love you, Sagittarius. And you know I'm about to get up and walk away. So, pff, go celebrate. What you playing for? <laughs> Let's go celebrate. Love you later.